All right. Here we go. It's been months. Like, a lot of months since I've last uploaded an actual video being model-related. As you know, life gets in the way and other problems, and then sometimes you don't like feel like doing it, whatever. But in my case, it was literally just my depression getting the best of me and winning. And yeah, that happens. But I am feeling a little bit mentally better. And I'm like, I want to make a video. So here I am, making a video. It's an update video. On what the heck am I doing? Well, even with my depression, I have been working on uh, models. Uh, I'm painting miniatures for games with my family. It's mainly who I play with for when it comes to board games. But, that's not what I'm here to talk about today. Today what I'm here to talk about is what I have been doing. First up is, uh, well, I am working on Bolt Gundam, Newer Russia's Mobile Suit Fighter uh, from uh, G Gundam. A 144th scale old kit before the HG line even existed. So it's very art, uh, limited in articulation and all that and details can be soft in areas. So I've been scribing and adding plot play and I got a lot of work to do for this. And I see the, here the foot is proof that I got to do a lot of work. Huh? So that's just putty. I had to fill in the hollows. Yes, even back then they would uh, do that. Make the bottoms of the feet hollow. So that needs plot play. Scri some scribing it needs to be done and all that goodness. Then I have projects for my wife I need to do. Um, three EV uh, model kits that she wants me to do for her. The big scale EV and then two, uh, two of the other EVs. I've done the other ones so far for her. Plus whatever other Pokemon kit she wants me to do for her. Custom paint job or whatever. And then I had just recently got in a kit for her that she wanted. Which is from Good Smile Company. And one of their model ranges here. Which is. Uh, uh, no Roman rules that fail me. I don't know what the number it is. Because I'm stupid. When it comes to the Roman numerals. But Tinino. Or Tanio. Whatever how you say it. Um, uh, the cats. Pretty, these are the cats pretty much. There's Alva. And then the other one. I not sure which other one is called. But this one's Alva, which is the white one. And she wants me to just snap it up for her and then paint uh, the feet black or whatever to give it like socks or look of boots like some cats have. So that'll be easy and quick. And I am thinking of actually doing a video of where I do the whole the whole project. In a video. Other than probably the. Uh, painting. Well the spraying of the uh, matte coat. To seal in the uh, paint work on the paws. Because I don't think you want to hear. Hearing the sound of my compressor. And my spray booth. Spraying. And being loud. I mean my compressor and spray booth aren't super loud. Then I have. Another project for myself. That I'm working on. No, well, I haven't even started on it. It's on, it's on the workbench. Which is a custom paint job of a cat. But I'm not going to get into that right now. There's no point into. If I decide to cover that video, I will. That project, I will make a video for it. And then I had came up with an idea of using Army Painter's Paints. To do a complete gunpla kit to test out how the paints look and work on um, a gunpla kit using just the Army Painter products, okay? Their uh, primer, primers pretty much, and paints. Um, 
probably the gloss and matte coat too. I don't have any of the gloss coats or matte coats, but I do have a bottle of their uh, matte white air primer for miniatures for when I work on uh, doing furniture and stuff. I like to use that for uh, the speed paints for paint furniture up quicker. It speeds up the process of painting the furniture as well as um, I have a bottle of their airbrush medium for finning that. Plus I have then their standard army painter set of paints without that aren't pre -finned. But the idea of the video is I want to use just their airline line of paints that are pre finned for that video to test how durable they are, how resilient, how they hold up to changing the pose of the kit when you handle them, and how the overall finish looks once, you know, it's been painted, matte, and, you know, top coated. And then given a panel lining. I think they have panel line, um, like washes that can use as a panel liner. So I would like to do that as a video. But I can't make any promises as of right now. If that's going to happen. I mean, it could happen. I'm hoping it'll happen. I think it'd be a great video. Especially for people who don't want to use lacquers. Don't want to use, you know, don't want to buy Vallejo or can't buy Vallejo easily, but they can buy Army Painter paints. Well, obviously, if they can buy Army Painter paints, they can probably buy Vallejo. But in giving the fellow Gunpla modelers, you know, you know, mech modelers, another paint line of paints they can use for their kits that are res good, resilient, scratch resistant, can hold up to being posed, and also not risk of damaging their kit, the plastic, as lacquer paint. Well, it's not really as lacquer paint and enamel paint can do, even though that's more the case, it's the thinner, and that's putting too much thinner onto the plastic, which causes the plastic to weaken and break and dry out. As long as you don't overdo it, you should be, the plastic should be fine. But there is a way that you can protect the plastic before you uh you use a lacquer primer. You can use um uh multi primer from like Gaia. Uh, if you can get Gaia, you know it's uh, paint. But I believe it's AK or MIG that makes a uh, multi-purpose uh, transparent primer you can buy that I want to try to do that with for a project. So that's another video idea I have that I would like to do. But yeah, basically it's I got a few ideas for some videos. Uh, but also, I, I've been <clears throat> not making videos. I have done other some things like this, which is a uh, sorting box. It's technically meant for uh, crafts or uh, sewing that I picked up at my local uh, teddy here in Germany. And I just sort of, sorted out my poly caps, you know, divided certain ones up to a point, mainly like... Um, the end here, ball cap here. They're all sorted and some other ones like that. And they're all necessarily sorted into some box and it's like three layers and you can buy more layer of boxes they can then layer up. Well, I don't know if you can let you layer really yeah, no, you should be able to layer more up, I guess. Yeah, you should. So you can stack them up. But I have that. That's a sorting box and I have sorting boxes like this, which are mainly for projects in work. This is actually my Astray's uh, sorting box for the Astray project, which currently has been frozen until I buy the replacement frame. I need to buy a replacement Astray frame kit for that project because the original kit I was using is no longer good for that for that purpose of that project as things I did before I start that project are interfering 
with me being able to use that kit properly. So I'm going to buy a whole new kit. But I still have the accessories and parts I'm going to be wanting to use for that kit. Granted, those parts have not been opened and put together or anything like that. They're still completely sealed. Hold up for when I'm ready to use them. Wow, my throat is starting to dry out from all this talking. But then, um, while I'm doing that, again, like I said, I'm also painting minis. Uh, mainly, currently, I'm focusing on Hero Quest minis for our campaign. I am playing with my wife and her parents. We are playing Hero Quest. And I'm painting the minis. And we haven't played because I'm still working on painting since our second um, quest. I haven't gotten much done. I've gotten the heroes we are using, which are not the heroes that come with it, but are custom heroes. They use, are, are using um, minis we bought for that can this campaign we're running. And I am working on doing the rats and the skulls and then the furniture. And you can see here the rats, it's all primed in white. And to the skulls, I'm like hand painting these because it's so somewhat small. And those are going to be using speed paints. And then the furniture will need to be primed as well in white and then speed paint it. So I got that to deal with. Then after that, I have to again go through and paint. <clears throat> Excuse me. All the monsters and then the heroes we're not using for, for the core. And then once those are done, I will then move on to the uh, add-ons, aka okay? all the add-ons that are out currently, which we own. And then there is um, the uh, next two add-ons that are coming out here in Europe next year as well, which we need, we'll be grabbing as soon as possible. And I'll have to paint those, but at that point, when we get closer to finishing the chorus campaign quest line, and I will then take the contents of the miniatures and all that, and then paint those. And so on. Oops, I missed a polycat for the bulk on them. Set in the box. But yeah, I've been busy even though I'm, I've been dealing with depression. I mean, depression is a pain in the ass. No matter what you should do, it gets in the way. Makes you not want to do things, doesn't want to make you socialize. Or just be really, really lazy because you're so depressed and down that you have no motivation to do anything. And when I'm dealing with that, I'm lucky. I'm lucky enough I can get myself to do a little bit of work. Be it painting or whatever. So recording. Being a video. Or editing a video would would have been something like that. I've been just like, ah, nah, bro, I'm, I'm out. <laughs> I don't want to do that. But the point of this video is, A, it's an update video. And it's the end of the year. It's, the 22nd of December as I'm recording this and I'm going to actually be editing it trying to edit it on my phone as my hard drive is not super big on my desktop and I need to get a bigger hard drive for that if I can actually do editing on that computer but I need to upgrade that computer period since um the part they can't it has graphics card could be way better. CPUs fine, I think, but the graphics card could be way better, and then the uh, storage could be way way better. RAM's perfectly fine. The casing itself perfectly fine. But yeah, enough of that. <laughs> but 
hopefully I can probably start getting more things done. Again, like I said, with the Army Painter idea, I can't say anything if it's going to happen or not. But if it does happen and it can't, and I can't ha do it, I mean, nothing stops me from doing it. I just, if I buy in the paint. But that's not exactly something that's easily feasible for me. When money is, you know, you got, you got bills to pay. Food to put on the table and all that. So I'm not rolling in the money where, ooh. I can just go willy-nilly and buy a whole bunch, of, uh, this whole lot, bunch of paint for this, one pro this pro make a video that I'm gonna make absolutely nothing off from, meaning I'm not gonna get any gain any monetary from it to reimburse the expenditure of spending so and so much money on those paints just for that video. So I've contacted Army Painter and uh, yeah, we'll see if it goes from there. If they're going to be awesome and hook hook me up with uh, said uh, things I need for that video. But I can't say if anything's golden or not, or confirmed or not. I uh, was emailed back. They told me to fill something out. I did that, and now I'm just waiting back, waiting on that. But with the holiday seasons being here, I'm most likely not going to hear anything back from that until the beginning of uh, next year, probably a couple weeks into January, probably by the end of January, probably. Since I don't know when they're back in office or whatnot. But yeah, I think that's about all I wanted to cover. I do have some um, books we can take a look at if you're interested in that as well. I have a... The first of a new book book here, um, Girls Plama Style, number one, which is a Pretty much a, a new milk line, I guess, or whatever. It's going over, you know, uh, girls' plamo kits, which are some of my favorite, which are some of my favorite kits. And then I have a uh, Five Star Stories Extra, Volume 31, from this year. Then I have some other ones as well we could take a look at, like another few some are actually books and then others are just actual magazines from this year if you're interested i mean i don't know who'd be interested in the hobby japan ones probably be interested in the uh, gundam forward ones though that i have i have a few of those um i have uh, some how-to you know books as well there's quite a bit But yeah, so I'm going to go off and start editing this on my phone or trying to. And uh, yeah, we'll see where it goes from there.